I love this, man. I love what y'all doing. I be telling my man about y'all. I'm, I'm from Hollywood. And um, I be telling my homeboy about y'all, like, when I be running into y'all, man. And, man, just be encouraged. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. And it's, I just think, um, I just think it's beautiful. Our people starting to wake up. Um, I bumped into a, a couple of brothers. I thought that y'all was together, and um, but and they told me, "Oh, nah, we just we that day." And I told them, I said, "Man, look, brother, check this out." I said, "Me, like I, I can't. I was I was brought up in the church, and I was all um, I brought up into the nation of Islam." With me, when it comes to uh, all, all of this, I see my brothers. And I look at it like this. I feel if the enemy was to roll up on us, he'll look at all of us as his enemy. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, I but he tried, to, he tried to trick us into thinking that, you know, we should all love each other and love everybody. But well, they don't think that way. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? They exactly. don't think that way. Exactly. They try to catch you off guard. They try to put exactly. you, keep your guard down. Stay tricking us. Try, try, stay trying to trick us, man. Man, but I just, I love, I love what y'all doing, man. That's what's up, man? Yeah. yeah. Hey, is our? Can I see the other side? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to. No, y'all got a YouTube channel or something? Yeah. Uh, what is it? GMS Salt. GMS Salt. Yeah. All right. Hey, man, I do um like videos and websites and stuff like that okay. too, and I'm I'm more than willing to you know help y'all out. Donate any, you know what I mean? Uh, that yeah, yeah. Stuff. That's what's up. That's real. Yeah, our, 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 our apostles, they uh, they have a donation page. But I mean, you can learn more about that. I, I mean, I've seen you out here a few weeks, you know. But yeah, just just uh, you what, know, what's it? Um, GMS, the letters GMS, and uh, like actual salt, like the seeds of the salt. Yeah. You know, so uh, you know, we we are these tribes, man, and the Lord is coming back to redeem us, though, man. You know, so we gotta come back. You know, I know a lot of our people were in Islam. Like, we, we grew up in the church, too. You know what I mean? We were in Christianity, all that kind of stuff. But the Lord said we're going to serve stocks and stones, false idols, you know? And so this, this he's he going to pour out the, the truth, the spirit of, of righteousness. Yeah, yeah. He's going to pour out the spirit of righteousness unto us, man. You know? And so that, that we got to come back to the commandments of the Bible, you know? And uh, if I can tell you one commandment, you know, you see how you shave your beard off? You're supposed to grow your beard. You know, I used to shave mine too, but I just, got, I just cut you know, it too. You know, I can remember my shit was crazy, but yeah. I just cut it. Kyle, let, let me just get it for you, just so you won't believe me making it up. Oh nah, bro. I, I, I know you can go ahead, it. but I ain't getting it. Nah, this is Leviticus 19 and 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. So mar means to destroy. So you ain't supposed to. You, you ever notice why? Uh, while we when we when we shave it off we start to get bumps and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. That's because we ain't supposed to cut it. It ain't natural. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Edomites do. So they can look younger because what they say, black don't crack. You know, we look young forever. So you know what I mean? But they gotta shave theirs so they can look younger, you know what I'm saying? And so they can get and so they, we say Esau is red and hairy. So they what's up, man? So that they can get away from that judgment of being hairy, so they cut it all off. But you know, that that beard is a badge of honor, especially in today's society with all the homosexuality going around. That a beard will let you know a man from a woman. You know what I'm saying? A man from a, you know, these homosexuals acting up and stuff. So it's a it's a profitable thing for a man to grow his beard. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know that's one. But yeah, brother, just continue continuing and watching and reading, man, because this is the only thing that's gonna save us, man. These the Lord is about to destroy this country. Oh, I believe. You know, that. he about to destroy this country, man, with uh with fire, man. And, and so and it was so crazy, bro. I mean, yo, sometimes I, I say to myself, this shit is really crazy, like, <laughs> then, like we still like, feel that way, bro. Like, we still I'm really that. like, damn, this is really happening like this. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even even growing up in the church, you get taught repent, the end is near. But then it's like, damn, it's here. You right. feel yeah. me? Like, right. And this this is this is the sign in itself. Uh, give me uh Proverbs one and uh the wisdom crowd on the streets, brother. Uh, but uh, you know, this is the sign itself because the Lord says He's going to uplift His men to come out in the true last days. All right, and that third day and a half, which is um, it, it speaks about three days and a half because technically we've been in slavery in America almost 400 years. So uh, He said three days and a half is 350 years. So after that, and our apostles been out there since that beginning. And so he said, in these last days, that's how we're going to know when these all of these signs, Matthew 24 chapter, all these uh, famines, 
uh, these uh, race riots, racial tension is so high, uh, earthquakes, these volcanoes in Hawaii, the uh, fires in California, them great hurricanes they bring here. It's the end of days, man, the, in the beginning of Jacob, all right? So if you're not on this, uh, with, the, with the world, what everybody call you, and I know you was out here with some of the, U the chariots, the yeah. UFOs, when those come, man, if you're not part of this number, you're, gonna, you're not getting beamed out of here, you're gonna be here when those missiles come, man. You got that, brother? Uh, Proverbs 1, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Wisdom crieth without. Uh -huh. She uttereth her voice in the streets. There might be a verse above that. Is something above that? Nah. All right, come on. Go say it. Read it again. Uh, uh, Proverbs right. 1, verse 20. <laughs> wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Right, so this is where you find wisdom, man, in the streets, all right? We, because when you go to those churches, those synagogues, those mosques, they only the people that's coming to hear that are going to hear that. So wisdom cried out in the streets, go ahead. She cried in the chief place of concourse. All right, chief place of concourse. Everybody down here, man. In the openings of the gates. Opening of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, mm -hmm. saying, how long, ye simple ones? Will ye love simplicity? That's right, a lot of, that's cool. A lot of our people are simple, man. You know, so when they come up and hear this stuff, you know, we had some some youngsters come in earlier and say what's up, but then start laughing when they pass by. You know, they think it's a joke, man. And it's it's all it's all it's hey, laugh and laugh. It actually, go down to twenty six. Just read. That's right, laugh now, cry later. Yeah, read twenty six. Let me start at twenty four. Mm -hmm. Because I have called and ye refused. That's right. I have stretched out my hand mm -hmm. and no man regarded. See that? But ye have set at naught all of my, my counsel. counsel. So they said no, all of the counsel, all of the words that he's given unto his people through his men. Go ahead. And would none of my reproof. Mm -hmm. I also will laugh at your calamity. See that? So they like they like to laugh now. We gonna be the Lord and his men are gonna be laughing at them when this famine come, when this drought come, when he's scourging and this uh, these armies come and take over these people's houses. You know, we gonna be laughing then, man. Go ahead. I will mock. When your fear coming. So that's the Lord, man, going to mock when people get scared, man. You know, that's a that's a true power. When you see it, that's how you know that's of the Heavenly Father. When you see, you know, in this society, they tell you when somebody laugh or get hurt. I mean, when somebody get hurt, you're supposed to mourn and feel bad for them. The Lord, like, I'm going to laugh when your fear coming. I'm going to mock when your I fear coming. I don't hear this in the churches. Yeah, they don't tell you see, this in the church. And that's another thing. <laughs> when, the, when the dude talking about, oh, I went to Bible school. Man, ain't none of God's people get sent through the government. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> and that, and, and that's, that's like a given right there, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, you made me think of you made me think of something. What was that? That Psalms one nineteen was reading earlier with the teachers, brother. You remember that? Your teachers. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Psalm one nineteen and ninety nine. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. So you know we got all more understanding than these teachers out here. Give me Isaiah thirty and nine. You know, we, go I ahead, mean, bro. Uh, Isaiah what? Thirty and nine. 30 and nine. I mean, every, you know, my mom is the type of woman, man. She likes to hire handymen and stuff like that. And when she hire handymen, most of the time they're pastors. And bro, I, sometimes I don't, I don't try to, you know, you know, stir up any kind of strife in my household or whatever. But I be waiting in the back of my mind. I be waiting for them to bring, talk about the Lord. So I will <laughs> cut you. You know what I'm saying? Really? And they, they pastors. I will get, I will dig in. And matter of fact, since you said that, get Jeremiah three and fifteen and dig it. Isaiah 30 and Jeremiah 3 These churches is, is leading our people to the slaughter, man. Right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? Because my mama be hell bent on these pastors, man. Right. And I be trying to tell them. And I be waiting for the day a pastor open up his mouth and try to preach the word with me in my house. Yeah, these because these pastors only talking about man. how much money you can get this week. That's so they can oh, get money, man. man. That's I, it. I, I'm about to open up in front so of my mama. Sad, <laughs> it is. It's sad. Hey, man. I'm, man, but what's so sad, like you say, how, how people think, oh, we get in the way, we, right, right, man, like, we don't got nothing here, God makes it the way every deed we do clings to our neck, you know what right. I mean, mm -hmm. so it's, right. it's like, even with, if no one sees, you right. know, it's, we still have that karma it's on our neck, you know right. what I mean, mm -hmm. that's right, man, it's a reason, and it says in the book of Deuteronomy, no man shall save us, you know, until the Lord returns, man, because that's why no matter how much we good we think we doing or how much we try to get up in this society, man, we still going to be pressed at the bottom. That's why all of them, uh, like Martin Luther King's and Malcolm X's and all of these people couldn't save us out of this situation, man. All right. Because the Lord got to be the one to do it. All right. It, it, it can't, no, can't nobody else do show it. Show the world he's God. That's right. Jeremiah, he, exactly, brother. I'm glad you said that. He got to show the world that he's the ultimate power, man, right. that my people can only be saved by my hand. All right. Go ahead. 
15. Yeah. Jeremiah 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, mm -hmm. which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So he's going to give pastors according to his heart, not these people in these churches, man, who are going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. And in churches, they read one, they'll read one scripture to you. And then just be talking about and God the whole ceremony. You know, you know, they finesse it. You know, you can't. You, you see how you out here talking with us, and you see how he was asking questions in the church. You got to sit there until the whole time. And then I, I remember when I was before when I was in the world, I tried to go up to the pastor and try to talk to him after the sermon was over. You know, he's like just getting the word. He's like sweating, act like he can't talk. Just getting the word. Just getting the word. Like what? Like what? Like you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm coming to seek counsel from you, mm. and you like just getting the word. That, that's sincerely. It's sincerely. To seek you know, and, but he don't. But so that's how you know where his men are because you can ask questions, you can listen. You you can't do that in the church, man. That's why he said he's gonna feed you with knowledge and understanding. And when you get knowledge and understanding, that's righteous food, man. It makes oh, you, it, it uplifts you. That's the thing. You know, he said, man shall not live by bread alone. This is that true food, man. Right. All right. I go to uh, Isaiah 39. Because, uh, you know, these, these pastors feed you with trash, man. Stuff that's not good for your body, man. That's, that's just can make you think that, oh, this society is okay living. Talking about peace and prosperity. Be a part of the hell that's right. That's right. Isaiah 30, verse 9. Mm -hmm. That this is a rebellious people, mm -hmm. lying children. Mm -hmm. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Yeah, they don't listen to what mm -hmm. we got to say, man. The lying children. You know, so-called black and Hispanic people. That's how they be, man. They don't want to listen. They want to do whatever the hell they want. Now they want to, uh, you know, that do as thou wilt spirit. I, I don't care what you're talking about. I'm going to do what I want, man. You know, go ahead. Which say to the seers, mm -hmm. see not. See, the, the seers means prophets, all right? The Nabayam, all right? See not. And to the prophets, prophesy not. To the prophets, prophesy not. So they tell us, hey, don't come out here and be talking about that, man. You know, prophet, the word prophesy means to say before. So we're talking about the things that are to come, man. So we're prophesying the words of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Prophesy not mm -hmm. unto us right things. Don't, don't tell us right things. Speak unto us smooth tell things. Tell us smooth things. In the churches, they tell you smooth things, man. You know, everybody good. Uh, everybody loves everybody. Let's get together. Let's be Let's be great. Let's make America great again. That's what they tell you in church, man. Sing and dance. Right, sing it. That's all they do in there. Sing and dance, man. Prophesy deceits. Mm -hmm. Prophesy to us. Tell us that uh, the, 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 the prosperity doctrine. Oh, you going to get rich. Oh, just do this. And the Lord going to bless you with money and all that. No, he's not. You know what I'm saying? If he if he gonna bless you, that's 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 for you. That's right. But then he, he, his, he his whole that whole prosperity doctrine is wicked, man. The Lord says, "I make it rich and I uh, and I uh, make it poor, man." Huh. You know what I mean? So if, it, if it's a so-called, there are people that that have money. You know, most of the time they got it wickedly. But if the Lord gives a man of the Lord money, he giving it to uh, preach the gospel and to help uh, help his men. You know what I'm saying? Give me Matthew 11 and 17. You know, he he gives that money to help his, help his men. But these people in this world. He, he says, uh, for much riches, make a man fall into snares and traps and uh, to do things wicked. When you get a man with a whole lot of money, he want to uh, uh, have sex with other men's wives, buy all the drugs he can, get as drunk as he can, buy all these houses and materialistic things that don't mean nothing. Balling, you know what I'm saying? That's all they care about. So, like you said, they do that sing and dance, but this is that true sing and dance. Go ahead. Uh, Matthew 11, verse 16. Uh, 16? 17. 17. And saying, we have piped unto you, mm -hmm. and ye have not danced. That's right. So we piping unto the people. You know what I'm saying? We playing this beautiful instrument out here, but they don't dance. But they go up in the church, be catching that weird-ass Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Devil. You know what I'm saying? Speaking that nonsense. You know, that, that's not what speaking in tongues is. Go ahead. We have mourned unto you, mm -hmm. and ye have not lamented. That's right. We have mourned unto you, man. We're telling you about the in this book is found lamentations, mournings, and woe, man. And these people aren't lamenting. They aren't realizing that this is their history book, and we've been through hell, man. Our people have been through hell. And that's why we can our spirits resonate with the things in this book, man. Go ahead. For John came neither nor neither eating nor drinking. Mm -hmm. And they say he had a devil. That's right. Because John came eating or drinking. They, they say he had a devil. Go ahead. The son of man came eating and drinking. Mm -hmm. And they say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. See that? They even called the Lord gluttonous and a wine bibber, man. You know, but the, the Lord, the Lord like, yeah, of course, he, the Lord liked to eat and drink, but he wasn't a glutton or a wine bibber, man. You know, because he was dealing heavy with the, uh, he had, he knew the judgment that was coming unto him, man. He knew he was going to die for the sins of Israel. So he would drink, but he wasn't getting drunk, but he would drink, man, because he was grieved. Sorry, Yo, you good, brother. No. Hey, you know how they talk about him in, in the um, Babylonian Talmud, right? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. They did. Bro, I, re I recently I like found that one out, bro. I feel like that should be spread all over the world. It, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That that Talmud is a, a book of mysticism and wickedness, man. You know, they 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 disrespect the Lord. They do that in a, a lot of these type of books. But yeah, man. Yo, they saying they saying um they call Jesus mother a whore. Mm -hmm. I never damn. They, they, they saying um something about Jesus. He, he needs to be put in excrement burning shit. And, wicked, and a whole man. bunch of shit, bro. And this, and this is, these are like, this is stuff the so-called Jews follow. You know what I mean? Give me uh, Revelation three and nine, man. I never heard that, man. Yeah, man. They, they, they disrespect the Lord, man. And see that they, they do that to defile His name. You know, they do that to defile His image, just like they've been doing. You know, when, when they painted him a so-called white man. They they, 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 do, they do anything they can to taint him because they know who he is and they know who he is for, man. That's why they created this damn space force because they know the Lord's coming. They created a space force, man. And that's an internet, a UN law states that nobody can militarize space. But they doing that because they know the Lord is about to return. Go ahead. Revelation 3, verse 9. This is for them so-called Jews. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Right, they not the real Jews. That's why they do wickedness like talking about the Lord like that. Go ahead. But do lie. They do lie, man. So they lie in that damn Talmud. Go ahead. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. That's right. Worship before the children of Israel's feet. Go ahead. And to know that I have loved thee. See? So they can know that he has loved us, man. All of them. That's right. So they're they going to they they punish, man. They're going to be punished, man. Because them, them people wicked, man. All of the, these different books they put out, out here, man. You know? Going to destroy. Uh, don't court us. Don't record us. Oh. Okay. Alright, yeah. And uh, you know, they, they, that's why they that's why they do these type of things, man. Yeah, yeah, man. That, that, that's, you know, he he heard me the first time, man. Yeah, man. Snakes. <laughs> Snakes, man. You know, that old serpent, man. Yeah, yeah man. Slick devil. He heard me the first time. Still recording, man. You know, that's how they be, man. They, they, they're wicked people, man. You can't push nothing past them. Oh. Hey, you need to quit smoking them cigarettes, man. See what I'm saying? You know? Hey, and another thing, everything they created has a death effect. You know <laughs> what I mean? It has a death on... Um, Let me find it. Uh, death effect. Mm-hmm. Cigarettes, phones. <laughs> You're right. Wow, bro. And everything they <laughs> create. You build it. Everything they create is dangerous yeah. for us, bro. Mm -hmm. And they, they did all that to destroy us, man. They didn't. They, they knew exactly what they were doing uh, when they created these things, man. You know, th th of course. See, the thing is, they, the elites of this nation, of this world, they'll sacrifice their people just to destroy us. So they're like, hey, our people gonna smoke cigarettes? So be it. We got, we got to try to take them out as much as possible. Get uh, Exodus one and seven. I think it should, should be one and seven. do whatever they gotta do, man. Oh yeah, man, man. They'll do like, whatever they gotta do. If, they, if that means even destroy themselves, they'll, they'll do it. No, they, they bragged about being able to destroy the world three times over. Right. With the amount of bombs they got. You know that's wickedness, bro. Uh, yeah, Jesus you, could, you could just You could destroy it one time, but now you're you gonna destroy it three times over. Right, right. Uh, yeah, it should be like a... If I can't rule, nobody can rule. That's right, exactly. That's exactly how they think, man. Go ahead, read that. Exodus 1, verse 7. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel were fruitful mm -hmm. and increased abundantly. Right, see, our people we uh, our people have known to be, have, have, a lot, have a lot of sex. In increase and have a lot of children, be fruitful. Go ahead. You know, like they be talking about the uh, so-called Mexicans. You know, it'd be like all the Mexicans jumping out of that car, all of them in that house. Our people are fruitful, man. Right. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly mm -hmm. and multiplied mm -hmm. and waxed exceedingly mighty. Uh -huh. And the land was filled with them. See that? That's, that was in ancient Egypt, but it's the same thing in modern same day Egypt. Here. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we grow and we grow and we get bigger and we get stronger and they get more of us. And so then they get scared of us when we on the streets. You know what I'm saying? That happens. We, we all know that's a common thing in our neighborhood. <laughs> you got one baby mama and she got like seven, eight kids. And that's just one woman. Right. Right, right. You know? Our people mm. are, and they, they, they be afraid of that. And since they're afraid of that, what do they do to us? Go ahead. Come. Now there 
arose a new king over Egypt, mm -hmm. which knew not Joseph. Uh -huh. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel uh -huh. are more and mightier than we. See that? So there's more of them and they're bigger than us. So we got to do something about this. Go ahead. Right. Come on. Let us deal wisely with them. Right. Let, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when they're fallen out any war, uh -huh. they join also unto our enemies right. and, Go ahead. and Go ahead. fight against us. See, when they don't want us to, you know, so in case they cleave onto somebody else and fight against us. Go ahead. And so get them up out of the land. Get them up out of here. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. You see that? They set over us taskmasters, man. Who are our taskmasters today? Are the oppressors, man. The, the same thing. Yes. You come. know what I'm saying? The uh, the police, the government, the, all, all of that stuff, man. They said taskmasters upon Ain't nothing changed. Come. It's the same thing all over again. Yeah. Go ahead. Come. To afflict them with burdens. To afflict them with burdens. Our people now are afflicted with burdens, man. Ain't nothing changed. There's nothing new under the sun, man. Taxes. This, is, this is taxes, uh, going at these dead end jobs, minimum wage, welfare right. checks, you know right. what I'm saying, food stamps, drugs. all uh, drugs, right. guns in our communities. You know what I'm saying? Gotta they afflict them with burdens, like man. It's the yeah, same yeah. thing, man. Yeah, yeah. That's how you know this book talking about us. Who else doesn't have it? And then they're going to mock you, and then they're going to mock you and be like, look at them over there. Right. Those drug dealers, they killing each other, uh, you know, crackheads. Right. Yeah, the, book of, the book of Deuteronomy says that we shall become astonishment, a byword, and a proverb amongst the nations. Mm -hmm. So wherever we go, oh, them niggas over there, oh, we astonishing. Oh, they catch it on TV, you know what I'm saying, doing all the dancing and singing. We, you know, we astonishing. We're, we're a proverb and a byword. They call us niggas, coons, uh, monkeys, wetbacks, wet backs, spicks, you know what I'm saying, all of this stuff, man. That's a, this is biblical prophecy. It's undeniable, man. Right. It's undeniable. Uh, give me uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Because you, you mentioned how everywhere they go, it's always chaos, it's destruction, it's death, it's murder. Mischief, man. Mischief, man. Go ahead. First Peter 5, verse 8. Uh -huh. Be sober. Mm -hmm. Be vigilant. Right. Because your adversary, the devil, mm -hmm. as a roaring lion, uh -huh. walketh about, uh -huh. seeking whom he may devour. See that? Walking about, seeking whom he may devour, man. Like uh -huh. a lion, man. When a lion's hungry, he gonna go out, he getting something. Sound like the devil I know. That's oh, right. That's oh. right. Uh, is it more that? Whom resist steadfast in the faith. Yeah, go ahead. Whom see. resist steadfast in the faith, uh -huh. knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. That's right, man. So we 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 gotta we are continuing this thing to stay steadfast because the devil is gonna be out here. Uh he's gonna come into our houses like a flood, man. You know, when that when it's time to come, when they when they commit habeas corpus, that's uh martial law. You know, they're going to be taking all of these uh, Lowe's, Home Depot's, Toys R Us, just shut all these stores down, Sears, Walmarts, all of them about to be FEMA camps, man. You th These people out here think they got these big Walmarts just so everybody can come in and get all your needs. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, man, can you step hey. on the signs, man? See, he a devil, that's why, man. You're on Smoking them cigarettes. You, this ain't your street. See, Esau think he own everything, man. You're going to be put to death, man. Shalak Ray, I'm a walk like that, I'm a walk like that, Bob Kushar, Bob Kushar, Bob Kushar, you all about me all the shine. Bob Kushar, the water to wild by mine. He a devil, see what I'm talking about? You know, what is that? What did we just read? Even his wife checked. Yeah, go ahead and read that again, man. Devils, man, devils. This is why we gotta be sober and vigilant. Go ahead. Be sober, be vigilant, mm -hmm. because your adversary, the devil, see that? As a roaring lion. Uh -huh. Walketh about, <laughs> seeking whom he, he may devour. devour. We ain't say nothing to him, man. We've been sitting here talking to you, hey, man. We ain't say nothing. If would have beat his ass, they would have arrested him. Exactly. Yeah. They'd have been like, yeah, three black dudes attacking a, a white dude out here. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't do nothing to him. He said he come up standing on the signs. If they could, they'll kill us. Yep. If they but could at this moment, they'll kill but us. But see, that's why I said, be wise as serpents I and harmless like as serpents. But that, you, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? But we can't, we don't even touch them because the Lord says, wait upon me till I rise into the prey, man. Vengeance is his. That's right. Vengeance belong to him. So after he get his, then we gonna get ours, man. You know? Yeah, man. Throw water, brother. It means thank you. Yeah, you know, he, 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 he's wicked, man. Bro, they mad, bro. <laughs> Amen. For no reason. For no reason. We wouldn't even... So I'm boldly, bro. <laughs> no, he should have got punched in his face. See that? See, and this is a thing that all this... Man, man Farrakhan was saying ever since Trump started, mm -hmm. he started to peel the, the, the... What? I don't know the word. The civility of these white people. Mm -hmm. Meaning, they starting to get bolder and bolder oh, yeah. and just... 
do that type of shit. Right, you because what they claim to be is being brought out to be a lie. All right. they're, they're, they're covering it, they're covering it, they put over themselves, it's starting to come to face, starting to uncover. Because the Lord of the say that uh, he shot oh, One of your brothers just came and stepped yeah. on our signs for no reason. I gotta stop you right there, bro. I ain't in front of me, it's all. Hey, man, you hey. You, no, you, your spirit ain't showing me bro, through. Hey, let me, let me ask you something, because from what I have understanding is that your people are actually descendants from uh, Ham. False. And Ham is not a... Uh, uh, Hey, Z-Mite. Hey, I got a, I got a. Problem. I'm more of a Z-Mite than you are. You're a Z-Mite. You're a Z-Mite. You're a Z-Mite. You're a You want to bet? You know what? Huh? You want to bet that bike? Let's bet that bike, cause I can prove it to you right now. Yeah, he don't want to bet that bike. <laughs> All right, so this, 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 this is this is the. Z- says I should not get okay. Him. All right, so this is the Zondervan's Bible Dictionary. I don't want your bike anyway, man. I was making a joke. Just, <laughs> hey, it, it, it gets you where you need. Hey, it gets you where you need to go. See, see, Jake will be humble with that, but you like, nah, it's a piece of junk. You know what I'm saying? It's a piece of junk. <laughs> but look, look, this is Zondervan's Bible Dictionary. All right, so this this from what your people wrote. All right. So, My people. Yeah, your people. Esau. <laughs> So all right, this is this Esau is him. Was a this, this, no, no. Was Esau so, so look, look, so, so, all, so, Esau is a Shemite. Yeah. Esau is a Shemite. Right. Yeah. So you saying your people, your people? I'm Edomites. I'm from, I mean the, Edomites. I'm from, okay, just because you, Shem. it's a lot of nations yeah. come out of Shem. That don't, right. Yeah, but that right. don't mean they're the ones they're not the chosen. Out of hand they're not the chosen. I'm, 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 I'm about to read it to you. I'm about to, all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can you flip that sign for me, please? All right. So this is the Zondervan's Bible Dictionary, page two thirteen. It says Ham. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor, which means father, of the dark races, not the Negroes. Who else is the dark race? Who else? It says, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. So not the Negroes, all right? So we're not descendants of Ham. We're descendants of Shem. So blew that bubble. That bite should be mine. I mean, <laughs> I, I, prove to me that you're not a Negro, that you're a... Uh, I mean, the, the so-called, what? The so-called Negroes are the tribe of Judah, man. I just proved that to you. No, you didn't. Yes. You didn't prove me that you okay. are. Oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't have to prove you that I'm, I I'm a Negro. You, no, you, you don't, but you're... Okay, uh, give me... Uh, <laughs> let's get Hebrews... This is Esau, man. It's over, man. You can throw that. It's over, man. It's over. It ain't over. It's over, bro. The police ever mess with y'all? Oh yeah, well, I mean, they ain't never put their hands on us, but they come up here and they sometimes we get ones that just come crouching and say hi. Sometimes we get calls on us. People like, uh, yeah, some guy said y'all were down here doing something. And, but you no, know, they ain't never put their hands on us, but sometimes they come up and say little stuff here and there. They watch it. They watch it. Because they, they, the police know who we are. Yeah. That's the thing. The police know, if you look, it's this thing called um, the Megiddo Project. I believe that's the uh, Megiddo plan. Yeah, Project Megiddo. Megiddo. Project Megiddo, the water, brother. Project Megiddo. The, they have all of the people uh, groups on that list, which are the biggest threats against the government. And guess who on there? The Hebrew Israelites, because they know that according to prophecy, that we're the people that's coming. Once again, why Donald Trump got a space force, man? Because you know the Lord's coming to ch- save the children of Israel. And it says in the book of Revelation, 17 chapter, they're going to fight. In Second Ezra, the 13 chapter, they're going to fight against the Lord. But go, oh, oh, oh no, 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 wait, wait, before you leave. Listen, bro. Uh, okay, yeah, all right, we need man. to get you. Uh, no, give me four and twelve, because we need to know why. Why, how we know that we're Israelites and why you're, how we can tell that you're an Edomite. Go ahead. Romans 4 and 12? Hebrews 4 and 12. 4 and 12. Yeah, it's a lucky, brother. Uh, Edomites are, are from the line of Shem as well, huh? Yeah, but that don't mean we're brothers. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can come from the line of Shem. Uh, uh, I, I believe Moabites are from the line of Shem. Assyrians are from the line of Shem. So-called white people, the Edomites, the Israelites, we're all uh, different people from the line of Shem. That don't mean that you're not, you Jesus won't receive judgment. Jesus from the line of Shem. So called Jesus. The line of hell. And yeah, we can get that too. Wow. That we didn't get last week. That's perfect. You keep on going. Hebrews me, 4 and 12, uh, and then we're going to get Esau, 7 and 14. Hebrews 4, you. verse 12. So listen yeah, to this. The word of Yahweh is quick uh-huh. and powerful uh-huh. and sharper than any two edged sword. Ooh, sharper than any two edged sword. Piercing uh-huh. even to the dividing asunder uh-huh. of soul and spirit. Ooh, the Lord cut that soul and spirit. Go ahead. That's right. And of the joints uh-huh. and marrow. Uh huh. And is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. See that? Discerner of thoughts and intents, man. And so it also that's, says that's that the Kushites will try to manipulate the word. Hey, the, so hey, that's all right, Kushite. Hey, we don't, don't, we don't. You think that you're, if you're the chosen people. Oh, we are. Hey, we are, man. And that that's not, I don't even have you don't even gotta say Lord willing for that. I guess always Lord willing, but you know, we don't have to we don't have to prove that because there's no way that we will be able to have this spirit if we weren't of Israel. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, uh Hebrews 7 and 14. Because this is the one I meant to